Oh my god, hey everyone, I'm Zayun, I am a Platinum Janna main, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on the Season 12 Janna update, so let's get into it. So, move speed going from 315 to 330, this is a great change, Janna loves move speed. Um, AD going from 46 plus 1.5 per level to 52 plus 3 per level. This is actually a lot of AD she ends up getting, so I could see some viability in some Janna mains maybe maxing out shield and maybe even going shield bash, because I think this amounts to a very, very high amount of AD. Um, so the biggest changes are, or buffs are coming to the Q. Um, the mana cost going from 60 to 140 to 60 to 100. This feels really good because you nobody would ever put points in Q because of how much mana it took, so this will feel a lot better. Um, Minimum range going from 1,000 to 1,100, and max range going from 1,750 to 1,760. I think this is a good change because there's a lot of times where Janna's Tornado will sometimes come up a little bit short, so that will feel really good. The biggest change to her Q is probably coming with the travel time, so it's going to 1.5 seconds to 1.25 seconds. This is a really good change because you can have a lot slower of a reaction time, especially versus like Leona's E, Rakan's W, Lee Sin's Q, if you need to time like an instant cast Q to stop their engage. So since the Q will be coming out a lot faster, um, you can have a lot slower reaction time, so that's a really good change. Um, <clears throat> the damage is going from 60 to 160 plus 15 to 35 per second of charge to 60 to 180 plus 15 to 55 per second of charge. I don't know how much damage this will actually amount to, but I could see some viability potentially with a solo lane Janna putting points in the queue, but it all depends on how much damage this is really doing. Um, now deals 80% damage to minions. I don't know if before it dealt 100% damage to minions, but if this is a compensation, or sorry, this is like a probably a preemptive uh, change to make it so solo lane Janna doesn't happen. Um, of course she'll pri primarily be support always, but I could see some viability with it, especially with how hard they're buffing the Q, and depending on this damage, but onto the nerfs now. So the attack range going from 550 to 500, this feels really, really bad considering all the other enchanters have 550 range aside from Seraphine and Karma. Um, and Yumi has 500 range. So Janna and Yumi will have the same amount of range, which feels really, really bad. Um, I really hope they maybe look at this and maybe go for like a 525. I think that would feel a lot better, but um, we'll see. I think 500 is a little bit harsh. Uh, onto the passive, uh, Janna gains 8% move speed to Janna gains 8% move speed while moving towards allies. I really like this change, even though it's a nerf. It always made sense for me for Janna to gain speed while moving towards allies. I don't know, it just made sense. Um, and they're removing that Janna's attacks and W no longer deal bonus magic damage based on her bonus move speed. So now move speed is still important on Janna, but it's not the most important thing. Um, cause the more move speed you used to build, the more damage you would do, um, and they're actually buffing her da her auto attacks with this AD, and they're actually buffing her W damage later on, which we'll get to. So this is a totally fine change. Onto the W now. These were also pretty big change too. So the range is going from 550 edge to edge to 650 uh, center to center. So I think this is the center of the champion, the center of Janna to the center of uh, the other champion. Um, so I think it is about the same range, but this is still a very confusing. I don't really get this. Um, we'll have to see. I think it generally is about the same range, though. Slow duration going from 2 seconds to 3 seconds. Love that. Um, cooldown 8 to 6 seconds to 12 seconds. This is where a lot of Janna mains are not really happy with this. I actually don't mind it because this, uh, this cooldown is what Janna's old W used to be like. A lot of the Janna's now, they like putting points in the W and spamming the W to poke, but I don't really see... Uh, they're compensating it with the damage, so I get it. A lot of the people who like Janna as a poke support will not like this cooldown, but I don't really... I see Janna as more of a shielder and peeler, so I, I don't mind this change. And they're also buffing the damage from 55 to 175 to 70 to 190. I love that. That's, a, that's really good considering the, the two patches that Janna had previously, they nerfed her W damage twice now because all these Janna's maxing W and going Comet so this will feel really good. I think it actually used to be up to 225 damage originally so this is still not even the best it was so yeah. Passive move speed going from 6 to 10 percent to 8 to 14 this will also feel really good. Wait Janna's actually going to be so speedy. 
6 to 10% to 8 to 14%. Plus, they're also buffing her move speed by 15. That's going to be really good. I see Janna still putting points in the W. A couple, two or three points in the W and then maxing up the shield. Janna's going to be pretty speedy. Still. I like that. And so, onto the shield. Cooldown going from 16 to 12 to 15 to 9. That's going to feel really good. Um, time before shield decays, 0.75 seconds to 1.25 seconds. This is really good because the reaction time, you have to have a 0.75 second reaction time um, to get the full value of the shield. So now that it will start to decay after 1.25 means that you will have time to, a lot slower of a time to react with the shield. Um, now they're removing, slowing, or knocking up an enemy champion. No longer reduces her shield's cooldown by 20%. I don't like this change because this is where Janna's skill expression was. Janna com Janna's shield compared to every other enchanter's shield is has the longest cooldown. So this was kind of a compensation in that if, you, if you're good, you can hit your CC, then you get your shield up often. Now that they're removing that skill expression, I don't really like that. Um... And a lot of other Janamains aren't really happy with that either. But yeah, I'm actually very hopeful for these changes. A lot of people are really negative in saying they're gutting Janna. But I actually am pretty hopeful that they'll be good. We'll have to see how it works in-game. Um, the two that I would look at probably that I would, wouldn't want to go through is the attack range. Maybe look at 525. And um, don't remove the slowing or knocking up an enemy champion. Reduce the ease cooldown. We, we love this, please. This is We live for this. We live for this. Please keep it. Um... But yeah, I think that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.